<clears throat> have you enjoyed working on this unit? Yes? No? Indifferent? Why? Well, I really enjoyed uh, <clears throat> this unit because I, I've always wanted to improve my, my watercolor skills and I think that this really gave me an opportunity to try m multiple techniques and to really refine them. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed improving those over the course of this unit. So what about the unit itself? Was there something special with that? Um. I mean, it, there's really a variety of thi of things that you can do because it's it's really based on around culture jamming and culture jamming itself is based around, I guess, politics and advertisements. So, and, and there's you know hundreds of thousands of topics you could choose. So I think that the fact that the choices are so widespread is kind of it's hard to make a good choice. But for me, it was relatively easy because I've I've wanted to make a piece about about Trump that really illustrates what I think about him and his decision. So okay. I enjoyed the unit overall and I enjoyed improving my watercolor skills as well. If you could add or adjust to the way it was presented to you, what would you do? You mean my piece. To change. What? You mean my piece. No, like, if you could add or adjust to the ways it was presented to you, like the unit. Are you sure? Yeah, that's what it says. Can I see? Please, you see. Okay, uh, so basically, what I would adjust to the unit is uh, focus the list of topics more, because again, th they're so widespread that it's really difficult to make a choice. For me, it was easy, but for other people, I, I don't think so, uh, not so much, especially for people who aren't in tune with things like po politics and targeted advertising. Um, so I mean, yeah, it, it's. I think that narrowing it down to maybe one specific overall idea like maybe uh, pollution or ocean acidification or things like that like narrowing it down to one specific topic or idea would be better don't you think that would uh, be a result of lack in creativity and diversity no. in there, there's hundreds of millions of things that people can do with one topic name three and illustrate it Name three right now. In what topic? O ocean acidification. You could do fish dying. You could do the uh, the earth. Half of the earth, the ocean, like half of the earth, the ocean is healthy. Half of the earth, uh, the ocean is dirty. Uh, Why is that ocean acidification? Because the fish okay, are okay, dying. We're going so off dirty. topic. Yes. Question number three. How slash why is this unit relevant to you? Um, it's really re relevant to me because culture jamming is everywhere and everybody sees it. Or they, they might not recognize it instantly, but everybody is prone to it. So it's really relevant to me, not just to me, but to everyone because we, we've all seen it at least once in our lives yeah. before. Politics. No, we can keep going. We can, okay. I have like two minutes left. How difficult was it to you to come up with that, different ideas? Well, I really had my mind set on Trump, so it, it was kind of difficult because I I had like a fixed mindset, you could say. I didn't think about, you know, um, exploring different aspects of of culture jamming. I just was focused on Trump. So I guess it was quite difficult for me. Um, what artistic techniques have you used throughout the piece? You missed a question. No. Nope. Did you thoroughly? Did Did you plan thoroughly enough before remaking, embarking on the final piece? Well, I I don't think I did because. Well, this happens with everything. Whenever you create a plan, there's always things that you change, but usually small things. But for me, there were quite a few things that I things that I changed, and that sort of, um, and that shows that my plan was a well constructed. As Mr. Wynn says, "Fail to plan, you plan to fail." Cool. Question number six. Six. What artistic techniques have you used throughout the unit? Well, I, I used throughout the unit. I used, uh. Hmm. I guess I used I used watercolor paint first, and then I used only like dry brush and dry brush and over and overcoating or overpainting, and that's really it. But I, I think that I really worked on those two. Well, okay. what aspects of your work are you most successful? Are the most successful? Probably, for me, it would be the fa or the face or the portrait, the sky, and maybe. I'm gonna show you piece. The forest, yes. <clears throat> it would be. And you, you, you glued the Trump face on. Am I correct? Yes, that was my mistake. Um, this was a. Th that was meant to be a trial, 
but since uh, I was running out of time, I decided to cut it and then paste it. it. I mean, it still looks good, but it would look better if it was. I feel like um, because of pasting it and having these yeah, the things, background sort it of pushes the face up. So like, it puts more emphasis on the Trump's face. Yeah, it's kind of popping out. Oh. Nice. If you were to do this piece slash unit again, what would you change? Um. Hmm. I might want to change my topic because I think choosing Trump to do a, 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 a any type of piece on is a bit too maybe generic maybe. Um, so I think I, I might want to focus if I had to redo the unit on I don't know things maybe that include pollution that include um, politics in France because that's not something maybe about that widely. affects you more. Um, well, maybe Trump does, but you're not American, right? No, I'm not. But like something that actually affects you and your everyday. Just an idea, yeah. throwing out there. I guess music, because uh, I usually listen to music every day. Wait, how's that an issue? It's not. So why would you make I don't know, I'm not sure. I think. Why like, would you make a piece of music? Politics in France and politics. Yeah. So do that lady who yeah. won. Yeah, sure. It, it's Macron, he's not a lady. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, it's nice question. Um, what was your intended message slash theme? Well, for me, my overall theme was basically to show that because of Trump leaving the Paris Agreement, which is an agreement that is supposed to cap a uh, total carbon dioxide emissions of a country, uh, because of him leaving that, it results in uh, an, a drastic increase in pollution, as well as uh, forests dying, because they simply can't keep up with the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. They can't absorb uh, as much of it. So how and, come Trump is looking towards the forest? Um, it's because she's ignoring uh, he's basically ignoring the pollution almost like she knows she, I think that he knew the consequences or ramifications of his leaving the Paris Agreement But he's just probably ignoring it and trying to just stay away from it as much as possible to not attract media attention What title will you give your piece? Divergence It's like Elaborate a Divergence is basically like For example, Trump, right? He diverged from the Paris Agreement, so he went out of it. So it's kind of like choosing, like you're following one path and then you choose to go on yeah. another one. Cool. Yeah. How efficient does your work convey that effectively? Message? Um, I think it does it sort of effectively, but but you would have to be relatively in tune with the U, with U.S. politics or world politics in general to to understand the underlying message. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Eight minutes.